So this week on the evidence room, we're learning a lot more about a case you might remember the friends with dentist who ran over her husband in the parking lot of a Nassau Bay hotel after she caught him with his mistress. Investigator Amy Davis looked inside all of the evidence boxes related to the Clara Hara case and even had the chance to speak with Clara about it. So Amy, this is the first case that you've taken on for it evidence room. Yeah, it absolutely is. I just I remember this case from when it happened and so many people. I mean, it um, was a national news story at the time. And so our interest in featuring this case, I mean, of course, all of the cases on the evidence room are closed, but Clara Harris was released from prison, finished her prison term in February of this year. And so she was finally off of parole, released from prison in 2018. She was finally off parole. So I wanted to do it because I said, hey, I'd love to sit down and talk with her. I'd love to get her to do an interview with us. Yeah. Um, and so I did get to sit down and talk with her at her kitchen table, um, dining room table, and, and sort of discuss the case with her. And so much of what you'll hear in this episode is from my conversation with Clara Harris. I mean, this is probably what most people remember from the case because this video has been shown over and over. Mm -hmm. This was surveillance video from a private investigator um, on the night that Clara Harris hit her husband, David Harris, when she caught him cheating, coming out of this Nassau Bay hotel with his mistress. Um, so this footage was at the center of the trial. And, and, you know, even now there's a dispute about what it actually shows. And so we're talking a little bit about that yeah. and what Clara says this actually shows versus what prosecutors said it showed and it led to. And I think the impression we were all left with was just like, you know, she was this woman in this awful situation and she just she lost it and ran over the guy a bunch of times. I mean, that's, I think, sort of the headline version version that we all remember. Right. It's the headline version that we all remember. And I said, you know, and saying, would you talk to us for this case? She's like, well, well, one, I said, we have this thing called the evidence room because we go and we look at the box, the files. And she asked me, well, what was in my box? Like, I want to know. And so, you know, I sat down and explained some of the things to her, what we found. And she, here is the actual box that you see Goodness. here. Um, she said, well, can I go see the box? Like, yeah. I'd like to go look at it myself. You'll see like her purse. She specifically asked about she said well did you find my purse did you find my wedding album and I was like well why would that be in your box and she said well these are things that I never received back mm -hmm. she was like my purse was in the vehicle uh. she said that my photo wedding fo photo album was in the car I was like why was that in the car yeah. and then she details this whole string of events that had led up to that night that really nobody ever really talked about. And so we kind of explained that, um, all of the turmoil and everything that had, that had happened in her marriage that was a very short time leading up to that evening. And this is essentially her side, right, of the yes. events leading up to yeah. that. Did she maintain, I know, I know she would say that she, it was an accident. Did she maintain that? Did, she, did something else come out? Um, no, so she does maintain and disputes what that video actually shows. And mm -hmm. so we'll talk a lot about that, um, is touch on that. I mean, the video was, you know, this was 2002. The video was in a dark parking lot. The Camera private investigator, what they are today. private investigator, sure. didn't start rolling on that video until after the the first impact of whenever she hit David Harris, her mm -hmm. husband, in that parking lot. Um, and then they, you know, they had maintained, and she still does, that that's not her car going over his body. That's her going over the curbs. Curb. And it's so far away, you can't really tell. How would yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And so we talk about all those things, but also a lot of other really interesting things, so some interesting. relationship, marriage books, improving your marriage, all those things that were in the box and sort of how they got there and why they were in yeah. this box for a criminal murder case. It's definitely another look into such a highly publicized case and people right. want to know that, you know, what was going on in her mind through all of this. Right. To hear from her after all these years. That's yeah. really what Very I wanted to do. Yeah. Exactly. Is yeah. that, you know, somebody who served their time, right. certainly a lot of people felt like they could identify or understand what goes on in your or mind. Or at least made be. up a strong opinion one way or another, not right. maybe having all the information. So. Yeah. Ooh, so. Good one, Amy. Yes. Hey. Yep. All right. We look forward to a lot more to talk about this story. Our latest episode of The Evidence Room streams at 630.